many will strip. What does it mean to strip? The original terms translated as stumble and stumble are often used in a metaphorical sense and can be understood in different ways depending on the context. They can convey the idea of sinning or being offended to the point of abandoning faith or being scandalized by something that is not fully understood. They can also convey the idea that something or someone causes others to sin or lose faith or trust in God, Jesus, or their representatives. Happy is the one who finds no cause for stumbling in me. Matthew 11:6. God's word forms the basis for our teachings and beliefs. Even so, many today are stumbled because they think that our way of worship is too simple and that what we teach does not match what they want to hear. How can we avoid being stumbled? The Apostle Paul told Christians living in Rome, Faith follows the thing heard. In turn, what is heard is through the word about Christ. Romans 10, 17 So we build up our faith by studying the Scriptures, not by participating in unscriptural religious ceremonies, no matter how pleasing to the eye these ceremonies might be. We must acquire strong faith based on accurate knowledge, because without faith, it is impossible to please God well. Thus, we do not need to see a spectacular sign from heaven to prove that we have found the truth. A careful examination of the Bible's faith-strengthening teachings is enough to convince us and to dispel any doubt. Let's think about the following. How did we get strong faith in the beginning? Faith follows what has been heard, wrote the Apostle Paul. By that he meant that the faith and trust we have in Jehovah, his promises, and his organization grew stronger as we fed on God's word. Of course, we did not blindly believe what we heard, but like the Bereans, we carefully examined the scriptures daily as to whether these things were so.